Hey guys, so I want to do a uh, battery test comparison here between the OnePlus 6 and some of its contemporaries. We do have the Honor 10, A8 Plus and the Nokia 7 Plus. Uh, yes, these three are a little bit cheaper than the OnePlus 6, uh, but I think they are like uh, kind of like the best mid-range offerings here, or upper to mid-range from their manufacturers. So uh, we can have a look at how the battery performance is on all of them. Uh, we'll just have a look at the temperature starting off. So they're all fully charged, as you can see, uh, to the max. And uh, I think they're coming in about the same kind of temperature. The glass one is probably a little bit higher. Uh, the Honor 10, as well as the A8 Plus. We well, can see OnePlus uh, 6 is quite nice and cool here, as well as the uh, 7 Plus. Uh, which comes with the Snapdragon 6 series processor, very cool, uh, efficient processor. Uh, we'll just open up the game as well. I'm going to do this for about an hour uh, and see how they do compare when we have done that hour. Uh, so let's just get them up here. Uh, yes, thank you. Got it. Uh, so I think we're in a position to take them off the charge. I think the 7 Plus has the biggest battery capacity here out of all of them, 3,900. So I, I, that's where my money is on. I've got to admit, I think that the Nokia is going to win here. Uh, in terms of the speed, you can definitely see the OnePlus 6 is way ahead of loading the game and looks a little bit less uh, laggy starting up here. Screens differ quite a lot as well. I think Samsung and OnePlus way ahead in terms of the screen technology. A little bit dull on the Honor 10 and the, um, the 7 Plus. Uh, but when you're actually racing the game here you can see the actual performance is quite similar on all of them not that much uh, difference in terms of the frame rate uh, so that is pretty good uh, so yeah standard rules apply here we're gonna let them run for an hour see who wins in terms of the battery and then uh, come back to them hey guys so we are back now one hour later and i wanted to see how the phones are getting on and i think uh, we are at four o'clock uh, we started at Three, so let's get them onto the home screen, and they feel very warm. Uh, let's have a look at the temperatures here. Uh, so yes, this one, and this one, and this one. Uh, so they seem to be uh, running very cool. Uh, the Honor 10 seems to be quite hot actually compared to others, but compared to last generation phones which were really like warm after you're doing some gaming, uh, they're all returning to like a normal uh, level here in terms of the temperature. I'd say the OnePlus 6 actually feels the coolest here. Uh, Honor 10 definitely is putting out some heat along with the A8. Uh, let's have a look at the battery. So 82% for the Nokia 7 Plus, 85% for the A8 Plus, 82% for the Honor 10, and 88% for the OnePlus 6. So the OnePlus 6 has actually done the best here, and it has the best processor. Uh, so I'm very surprised actually that the Nokia 7 Plus uh, just didn't do that good ultimately. You know, I thought it would do a lot better uh, when it came to the battery, but you can definitely see that uh, the battery doesn't seem to be that good for the gaming. Maybe when you buy a flagship processor nowadays, it has like you know less strain on the uh, device, like the battery. So uh, I think the Honor 10 has done pretty well, but usually I think it's the software which lets the Huawei devices down in terms of the battery. Uh, I think if they really kind of optimize that, they would be a little bit better uh, in regards to that. Uh, but props where props is due, you know, for the OnePlus 6 here, you can see it's done absolutely fantastic uh, in terms of the battery, considering the smaller capacity as well. 
so yeah, just a quick little video here. Hope you found it helpful, and I'll see you in the next one. Cheers.